<laughs> yeah, I got the job. A night job at the Watergate. So you meet Frank Wills in episode two, and I feel like he's very important to the story. Frank Wills. He is the security guard at the Watergate who calls the police in because he sees that the door is taped incorrectly. You can't be putting tape on the door like this is against code. And with that small act of speaking out, he really changed his whole life forever. He is a man who was at the right place at the right time and who saw the right thing, which I feel like it was divine that he saw that. Frank Wills is incredibly important to the Watergate story, chiefly because there would have never been a Watergate story without Frank Wills. Hey guys, good as coach, you can't come here. You were the one who called the cops, aren't you? Infamously, he got about 20 seconds of screen time and no lines in the in the film All the President's Men and I don't think his story has ever been told before in the way he deserves. He really saved the day here. Well, I'm just glad I could represent myself on behalf of the building. He got some good attention from the DNC and from the NAACP, but he also had a lot of negative attention. People blamed him for the trouble that Nixon got into. To your right. Which was obviously not his fault. And he did the right thing, but just doing that simple act caused his life to be forever changed. He is the personification of how history forgets some and remembers others, and that act is random. I think Frank's a fascinating character. It's not the last we'll see of him, and I think he's a really interesting character to follow. Seems there was a mix-up at the Watergate. A security guard, uh, he busts the whole operation, Jeb says, bust him wide open. In episode two, we see Dean coming up against some more bumps in the road than he, he thought there might be. But I think this only serves to, to make him want it more, you know, to drive him hurtling into this chaotic abyss. The burning of evidence, it needed to happen. Liddy does talk about, though, in that burning of evidence that I've had this dream of this before, retribution. I saw this in a dream, Howard. I saw it unfold, and it's coming to fruition. These flames consuming our best laid plans. Liddy was asked a question by a reporter. If your son got in the way of a mission, would you kill your son? And he says, yes, I would do that. Don't leave any fucking papers. I think that he could rationalize any situation. I see people around me and every one of those people around Nixon. Almost every one of them. I don't know a G. Gordon lady oh, in my life. I, I am I'm, I'm so sorry, man. We're all flicked with sorrow from birth, son. It's up to each of us to pull it off. There are plenty of Marthas I recognize from my life. This is what happens when there's no trust between two people. There are plenty of Mitchells from my life. If there is a G. Gordon Liddy out there, I would like to meet them. Oh, we have a winner. 